I am humbled by the challenge. Very in love with our countertops. It's tough at times, but I, I really wouldn't change a thing. Good trick to know is those brackets come for free. I'm Lee. I'm Megan, and this is our rig, Jackie Chan, the adventure van. Let's go inside and take a look. This is our kitchen area, um, starting with our shelf, um, our spice rack up here. Everything is super duty Velcro down, so nothing jiggles or moves when we're driving. Our essentials up here are screwed in. The lids are all tight, screwed to the spice rack. Um, essentials like coffee, nuts, rice, noodles. Our sink, we have a cutting board over the top for storage underneath, and then easy sink access. Here we have a little drawer with essentials like flashlights, pens, hand sanitizer, sponges, stuff like that. And then moving down here is where we keep our propane, um, our water tanks. We have a three gallon fresh water and then leading into a three gallon wastewater. Um, we keep a 15 pound propane tank and our propane grill down here. Typically we cook outside, but if the weather doesn't permit for that, we do have a filter. So the propane gunk and stuff stays in this, filters into the air. So it's all safe. Um, cleaning products on the sides, Lysol wipes, sponges, um, soaps. We use Dr. Bronner's so everything is eco-friendly. Um, on the side here is where we keep our fresh water, our drinking water. We keep 10 gallons on hand at all times. And we have this little pump which just fits right on the top, easy. Moving over here in our drawers, our top drawer is kind of just like kitchen essentials, plates, silverware, measuring cups, tin foil, things like that. Um, and then moving down is on the top, we keep standards like beans, can like hot sauce, stuff that we use kind of regularly. And then on the bottom is where we keep um, pots and pans, and then we keep our table here. It folds up right into this little space and pops out. So we can each sit on a side and have dinner, breakfast, whatever, um, play a game, read a book, but usually we're outside all the time as long as weather is permitting. And then right above us, we have our fan, so we can put that on outro. If we are cooking inside, pull all the fumes, all the scents, everything outside. Um, it also helps keep the airflow going. We have another fan in the back, so it constantly is having air circulate, which is nice. Um, our countertop is very large and I love it. It gives us a lot of space to both be able to be doing something. Um, Lee can be over here and I can be over here. We love to cook, so usually we have a lot of stuff out and then having this space too, where we can kind of alternate, set things here. Um, our sink is perfect size. I can easily clean pots and pans in there and also have room to dry things. I couldn't imagine having a smaller counter space with the two of us and the amount of time that we spend in the kitchen prepping food and um, you know, chopping veggies and whatnot. So having the countertop is nice. I also, the look of it is incredible. The, um, the woodwork, the knots and all of that is by far this area right here is my one of my favorite parts of the entire van so very very in love with our countertops <laughs> What attracted us to this lifestyle, I would say, is the sense of adventure and freedom. Um, being able to get a true sense of the outdoors, see parts of the United States that not a lot of people have the ability or luxury to get to see. Um, we were at a really fortunate stage in our lives where we were kind of transitioning from living in San Diego to moving back to the Midwest where we were ready to kind of settle down and um, have, get some land and build a house and weren't quite ready for that and um, the van lifestyle has always inspired me, um, always was attracted to it so really fortunate that we were able to take the opportunity to live this way and have this tiny little home of ours. I like the challenge. Uh, I am humbled by the challenge. Uh, that deemed far harder than I ever imagined. But yeah, you know, just learning the electrical was probably my favorite part, next to like kind of getting a little in touch with the wood and almost getting a little artistic with it, you know, kind of when you get more comfortable 
Uh, if anything ever went wrong, I wanted it to be my fault. And then I knew how to fix it, or I learned how to fix it. Um, yeah, there was never a question on buying it done or you know going completely bare bones. And then, uh, and then this particular van, we wanted all-wheel drive. Uh, then the turbo, if we ever went a little overweight, needed to get up like a hill or whatever. So yeah, having the all-wheel drive turbo, we've done everything. Like going back to the wood, like the fact that we like, you know brought a piece of home with us instead of it, you know, not having that emotional response, you know. We were able to make it truly our home. It feels like our home, it's our space. We designed it, we painted it. It's, it's our space, our comfort zone. Yeah. And now moving back into our living area, we have um, two benches here for storage and for seating purposes. It's also a nice jump for the dog to get up onto the bed. Um, and this cabinet here is where we keep our clothes. Um, top drawer is kind of like lotions, um, hair stuff, um, things like that. And then uh, moving down, we have a shared drawer, my drawer, and then Lee's drawer. Um, in our storage spaces, we have um, two pretty large um, benches. In this one, we keep extra spices, um, extra kitchen things. Like I said, we love to cook, so having everything we need is really nice. And then on this side, we keep, um, dog food and then kind of like tenting and like camping essentials we do keep a tent with us it is really nice for when we are at a spot and we want to save our location or save our camp spot because when we drive away it just kind of leaves the site open so we'll pop up our tent and that secures our spot so we can run into town and get what we need up front here we have a little pocket where i keep like journals and books my kindle stays in here which is nice to have everything just kind of on hand right there for quick grabbing accessibility. Um, and then here we have Lee's guitar, his little mini acoustic that he likes to play for me. The animals also love to chime in and listen. Um, birds, antelopes, all kinds of animals run in. Um, when we're driving, we swing it up like this and then take a bungee and loop it up and it is tight and ready to stay. All right, I'm gonna go over the bedroom real quick. Uh, we did uh, quick Ikea slat bed. So built just like uh, framework, it's all bolded. We did plus nuts throughout the whole van so nothing actually like got screwed. I didn't make any holes, so we did plus nuts, bolts to the mainframe, and then just put these brackets uh, with the Ikea slats right there. Uh, good trick to know is those brackets come for free at, Ike at Ikea. Uh, they don't tell you that, but you go to the parts store and then they'll throw them in for free instead of spending 60 bucks or something. Uh, the best thing we did was keep this inlaid. Uh, we're both like 5'8"-ish, and this is like the dog's little nook, but having the inlay here and having the inlay over here, we can actually like fully stretch out. Our feet like sit flat, super comfortable, so you don't have to just be like fetal forever. Uh, and then we built this little fold down guy, uh, keeps our laptop mounted right there. So it opens up underneath, kept a lot of space, rose this up because we've got the high roof extended, plenty of room. Uh, down here, we got the Iceco fridge, dual zone. So you can switch it between like freezer, fridge. We're running both fridge. We cook a lot, like we were saying, and, uh, yeah, that thing's stocked all the time. And then we did the EcoFlow Delta Max. Uh, I was gonna build like the whole Victron battery born setup. And then I saw on Kickstarter, these guys were bumping this thing out. It's like a 2000 watt hour, charges extremely fast off AC. Um, running a 345 on top uh, panel. So honestly, this thing between the fans, Fridge usually pulls like 50, 60 watts. Like when we're charging the laptop, it's like 50, 60 watts. Uh, have no issues. I mean, if you're in like the forest for days on end and you know, rainstorms nonetheless, like you might have to turn the car on to 
get a little charge going, but super, super happy with this. Yeah, and then everything's run off DC. We have a DC fuse box hidden back behind here. Um, so yeah, all DC besides the fridge, we kind of run AC. Just, you know, keeps it on. There's an app on the EcoFlow uh, where you can like kind of set the on off timers if it's inactive or whatever, or, you know, uh, kind of watch the graph, see how you're doing. It is a small space for two people and a dog at times. Um, luckily, I'm a morning person and Lee is a night person, so I get up earlier. I kind of have my time to, you know, brush my teeth, do my thing, like have my little morning routine. And then when he gets up, I'm usually like outside making coffee or doing something else by that point. Um, sometimes there are times when we're both just like standing and we're like, uh, uh, uh like which way are you going? But yeah. um, I love him and I'm lucky that he is my best friend because if it wasn't that way, I think that it'd be a hell of a lot harder, but yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's tough at times, but I, I really wouldn't change a thing. My favorite part about the van is uh, my family. My dad has a uh, tree company back in Pennsylvania. So he started the build in San Diego and then he's kind of like, you got to come back. Like we've, we've done a bunch of milling. Like I, I used to work with him have this awesome old guy come in with a portable sawmill. So he'll fell the trees, you know, anything he liked. And then um, we'll mill that down, you know, let it cure. So when I went back, we picked all this knotty pine that he, you know, milled. And then we uh, also used the black walnut. And then the internal framework is a ginkgo tree we took down. So Ginkgo framework, uh, all long knotty pine. That's how we kept these like super long, like 12 foot boards. And then what was way harder than I ever expected is we kept planing that down. So these are pretty thin to keep the weight down. Uh, so planing, the, planing these took weeks, weeks and weeks. Uh, and then after that, you know, you do the stains. So we've got, or the, the uh, poly work. So we did water-based poly for this uh you know all these cabinets did like an oil base and then like did all the sealing on this um so yeah this is all the same tree this is all the same tree uh all the black walnut you name it and then the only wood that uh we you know kind of used is this is old reclaimed from the house i grew up in we restored all the cabinets uh so yeah, I mean, that was kind of the point is like going home, taking a piece of home with you. So, you know, this is truly home and it's home on the road. Uh, I'm gonna go over the garage real quick. Um, we wanted a bunch of space. I didn't do any fancy like, you know, pull out uh, track system or anything. But with this amount of space, we could fit two mountain bikes, uh, paddle board, like all of our shower gear, the bag, the tent, everything. Uh, it's out in the woods, but got her, like a little toilet system in the back. So yeah, just kind of dig a hole and go at it. So yeah, the whole thing about putting the bed as high as we did is, you know, you kind of take the front tire off the mountain bikes and they slide in just perfect. So we did like a 34 inch clearance and uh, that gave us more room than we needed. And then, uh, so for when the back doors are open, again, this is the same black walnut tree. Uh, just had a board left over and really worked out kind of fit in there um i guess the only thing i would have done different is we had this we kind of ran out of time but i had an extra solar panel and i wanted to build a track system that would pull it out so originally we wanted to do an additional awning where the solar panel itself would give us shade and collect so then i could get up to like 700 watts on top then we kind of threw around the idea of just kind of getting a mount system where we could pull it out when this is parked and then kind of like double the uh, solar intake. Cause that eco flow can go up to 800, I believe. And uh, that's more than enough. Like I said, it's humbling. Uh, don't like beat yourself on the errors. It's like everything you do, you're gonna learn from. 
I'm a perfectionist sometimes and like, I'm telling you, it's stressed the living hell out of me once in a while, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I would say just take the leap. Um, it'll be hard, you're gonna get frustrated, but you won't regret it. It's, it's probably the greatest thing that we've done in our lives so far, so. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard and it's done and it's awesome. And I love being on the road. Thank you for coming and visiting our home. Um, you can follow our journey on Instagram. Um, my handle is at Meg underscore Nolia with three A's. Um, yeah, we'll be on the road for the rest of the summer. So thanks for stopping by.